Biagam. Great place to learn. Our environment. Our environment consists of everything around us. Our environment is a wonderful gift given by the nature. It has living and non-living things. We are surrounded by living things such as plants and animals and non-living things such as water bodies, sunlight, air and land. The living and non-living things in our environment interact with one another. Environmental Factors Our environment has biotic factors and abiotic factors. Living organisms in our environment are called biotic factors. Example, lion, plantain, dove, human beings, etc. Non-living things in our environment are called abiotic factors. Example, air, soil, water, sunlight, etc. Biotic factors can breathe, feel, grow, need food to live and give birth to young ones. Whereas, abiotic factors do not do all these. Interaction between biotic and abiotic factors. All biotic factors depend upon abiotic factors for their living. Biotic and abiotic factors are linked to each other by the flow of energy through food. Plants are the most important among all the living organisms because they only can make food from abiotic factors like air, soil, water and sunlight. Human beings need sunlight, air, plants, animals and water to live. Balanced Ecosystem It is important for the food chain to exist in any ecosystem to make sure that the energy flows between the biotic and abiotic factors. A balanced ecosystem supports plants, animals and microorganisms to grow in their environment. The biotic factors in an ecosystem includes producers, consumers and decomposers. Producers The living things that can prepare their own food are called producers. Green plants are the producers. They make their own food by the process of photosynthesis. Hence, they are called primary producers. Humans and animals depend on plants for their food. Consumers The living things that eat the food prepared by the producers are called consumers. Most of the living things depend directly or indirectly on producers for their food. Consumers can be divided into three types based on their food as herbivores, plant-eating animals, carnivores, flesh-eating animals and omnivores, both plant and flesh-eating animals. Decomposers Organisms that feed on the wastes, dead plants and animals are called decomposers. They return nutrients to the soil, example bacteria and fungi. Planting sapling. A young plant with a thin stem is known as sapling. Survival of living things is impossible without plants. Planting and taking care of plants lead to a good environment. Benefits of plants. Provide oxygen for breathing. Provide food and shelter to living things. Absorb harmful gases and smoke from the surroundings. Give wood for making furniture. Offer a good environment to live and help in bringing rainfall. To create awareness among the people, we can give saplings during celebrations, family functions and national festivals. We can also plant saplings on our birthday. Thanks for watching.